Understanding, IELTS Test Format There are two types of IELTS, IELTS Academic, and, IELTS General Training. IELTS Academic can be taken, in a test center, on paper, or, on computer. It can now also be taken online, from home, or another private location, that has a stable internet connection. Whereas, IELTS General Training, can only be taken in a test center, on paper, or, on computer. The IELTS test include four sections. Listening, reading, writing, and speaking. For academic, and general training, you will take the same listening, and speaking tests, but different, reading, and writing tests. Make sure that, you prepare for the correct test type. The listening, reading, and writing sections of all IELTS tests, are completed on, the same day, with no breaks in between them. The speaking test, however, may be scheduled, up to a week before, or after the other tests. The total test time is, 2 hours, and 45 minutes. Now, let's have a look at each section format, one by one. In listening section, the recordings will play for 30 minutes. You will attempt the test on question paper, as you listen, since the recordings are heard only once. At the end of listening section, you will be given extra 10 minutes, to transfer your answers to the listening answer sheet. It is allowed only in paper-based test. There are four parts in listening section, with 10 questions in each part. The questions are designed so that the answers, appear in the order they are heard in the audio. Each question is worth one mark. Therefore, care should be taken when writing answers on the answer sheet, as poor spelling and grammar are penalized. You will listen to four recordings of native English speakers, and then write your answers to a series of questions. In academic reading, you will have total 60 minutes, to solve the test. There will be no extra time given at the end of the test, for transferring answers to the answer sheet. You must write the answers directly on the reading answer sheet. The reading section is divided into three parts, and consists of 40 questions, designed to test a wide range of reading skills. Each question is worth one mark. You should copy the answers from the text in order to avoid any spelling mistake. Academic reading test includes three long texts, which range from the descriptive and factual, to the discursive and analytical. You will come across a variety of questions using a number of task types in this test. Whereas, in general training reading, the only difference is the length of three passages, that you will come across. These passages are usually the materials, that you are likely to encounter on a daily basis in an English-speaking environment. Part 1 may contain two or three short texts, or several shorter texts, for example, notices, advertisements and timetables. Part 2 comprises two texts, that focuses on the workplace context, and in Part 3, there is one long text, with emphasis on descriptive and instructive, rather than argumentative texts. In academic writing test, you will have 60 minutes to attempt two tasks. Topics are of general interest, suitable for test takers entering undergraduate, and postgraduate studies, or seeking professional registration. Both writing tasks must be completed. In task 1, test takers are asked to describe some visual information, for example, some graph, table, chart, or a diagram showing process, in their own words. They need to write 150 words, in about 20 minutes. In task 2, test takers respond to a point of view, or argument or problem, in the form of an essay. They need to write 250 words in about 40 minutes. In general training writing test, only task 1 will be different. In task 1, you will be presented with a situation, and asked to write a letter, requesting information, or explaining the situation. The letter may be personal, semi-formal or formal in style. You will be asked to write at least 150 words in the answer booklet provided, within 20 minutes. The speaking test is same for both academic, and general training test. The speaking test consists of an oral interview between the test taker, and an examiner, which lasts for about 11 to 14 minutes. There are three parts to the test, and each part fulfills a specific function in terms of interaction pattern, task input, and test taker's output. Part 1 involves an introduction and interview with general questions on some familiar topics, such as home, family, work, studies and interests. To ensure consistency, questions are taken from a script. This part usually lasts for 4 to 5 minutes. Part 2 is the individual long turn. The examiner gives the test takers a task card, which asks the test takers to talk about a particular topic. It includes points to cover in their talk, and instructs the test takers to explain one aspect of the topic. Test takers are given one minute to prepare their talk, and are given a pencil and paper to make notes. 
the examiner asks the test takers to talk for one to two minutes, and stops the test takers after two minutes, and asks one or two questions on the same topic. Part 2 lasts for three to four minutes, including the preparation time. In Part 3, the examiner and the test takers discuss issues related to the topic in Part 2, in a more general and abstract way, and where appropriate, in greater depth. This part of the test focuses on the ability to express, and justify opinions, and to analyze, discuss and speculate about issues. Part 3 lasts for 4 to 5 minutes. After submitting the test, you will be able to check your IELTS result online from the official website of IELTS Partners, or through their mobile application. For paper-based IELTS, results will be available online on the 13th day after the test. While in computer-based IELTS, it usually takes 5 to 7 days for the results to be available online. Don't forget to comment, like, and share our video.